My name is John McKenna. I'm a sculptor. I tend to make statues or large scale public artworks. As an artist, you can be motivated to create art, but to be a businessman as well and try and make a living from it, you really have to be focused. So, so fabricated sculpture and steelwork sculpture and, and creating large scale works out of sheet metal is much more of an industrial process. It's a brutal process and it's a real challenge but it's this potential to create great pieces of work and, and on a big, big scale. We tend to use stainless steel, which is an expensive material. One of my selling points to my client would be the durability of the materials I use. Stainless steel, as a material, is predicted to live for hundreds of years. So these things are gonna far outlive me. We tend to use welding techniques to join it together. So we fabricate using TIG and MIG welding. And everything about stainless steel is, is more difficult. Even the dust from grinding, say, would settle on your piece of stainless steel and it will cause it to rust. It's stainless steel rusts, and especially if it touches mild steel. In the past, we would use it on stainless steel, we would, we would clean it with what they call pickling paste. It's a, the very, very strong chemicals you're using there nasty chemicals, bone sort of dissolving chemicals. You know, you don't want to be breathing in the vapors and you don't want to be getting them on your skin at all. You know, some really strong stuff. Something was needed to replace that. We hunted about, uh, we had this huge job to do. We had an awful lot of cleaning. We came across TIG brush. When, when the salesman came and brought the TIG brush, um, we were amazed when it was first used, you know, because it was just such a simple, you know, put your earth clamp on, dip the brush in, run it across a weld. We were amazed at how quickly you, you, you get a, a clean weld. That piece of stainless steel, that area of stainless steel he cleaned for us four years ago, still clean today. It, it's a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. The TIG brush, with its safety in use, the fact that you've got a system backup, you know, where they're supplying you know, all the chemicals here, they're readily available. It, it's really, it's much more straightforward to use. It's much more safe for the operator. The upshot of it is I would be using the TIG brush as much as possible all the time. 